Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I was in the middle of making another video when I realized I was going to have to explain the same thing that I explained in my previous video and will probably have to explain again in a future video. So I just wanted to make this video as a sort of quick tip to explain the easy way to adjust your Z offset with pretty much any auto bed leveling sensor using Marlin firmware. After Joe from 3D Maker Noob uploaded his video about putting a BL touch on his ANA A8 3D printer, he apparently got a lot of requests asking him to explain how to set the Z offset for the BL touch. While it's true you can do this manually through something like Pronerface or Repetier Host connected straight to your printer, there is a much easier way to accomplish the same thing directly from your control box, but only if you're using Marlin firmware. The first step is to go into your control box to prepare Auto Home to home all three axes. Assuming you have safe Z-axis homing enabled, the sensor should end up roughly in the middle of the bed when it's done homing, and then raise up about 10 millimeters. You'll want to use the control panel on your printer to go to prepare, move axis, to move the X and Y axis until the nozzle is in the same place over the bed as your sensor was when it finished homing. Next, grab a sheet of paper and place it on your bed under the nozzle and use the Move Z axis control to carefully lower your nozzle one millimeter at a time until the nozzle just catches the paper. When it does, raise the Z axis back up one millimeter, then switch to the 0.1 millimeter option and start carefully lowering your Z axis 0.1 millimeters at a time until the nozzle catches the paper again. Now raise it back up 0.1 millimeters and write down the current Z height on a piece of paper. Next, from your printer's control panel, go to the Control Motion menu and select Z Offset. You'll want to write down the current Z Offset value and then add the two values together. Take this new value and change the Z Offset value on your printer to match. Then navigate back to the control menu and scroll down to click on Store Settings. This will make sure your new Z offset is saved even after you turn off your printer. And that's it. No need for manually entered G-code commands, just a few simple clicks and your nozzle height is set. Anyway, as I said, I'm currently working on another video and I intend to have it uploaded in the next day or two. I just didn't want to have to keep repeating myself. If this video was at all helpful to you, feel free to click the like or subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.